Welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands Part 40. This is Lagno 14. So, we finally hit the big 4-0 in a number of videos for this game. <laughs> so, let's just continue on. This is a recording straight after the last one because uh, I will be busy this weekend. So, uh, I want to get this uh, pretty much recorded and finished before uh, I forget and release it late. So, uh, up here there's a bandit. Or psycho. Let's try. Yes, we got him. Got like two or three hits on him. Amazing. Oh, look, another freaking purple mist. Love it. Uh, where's this guy at? Not really a guy. Gonna try to throw some shit at me? Come on. Oh, he jumped over. <laughs> uh, not often that I see them do that. Get out of here. I got better things to do than to deal with you. Where you at? Alright. The sixth round clip, even though it fires so damn slow. There he is. Okay, so now it's up to me to deal with. Okay, maybe not. Let's let them <laughs> mingle amongst each other. Get a good grenade into that group. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. Come on, midget shotgun. You're a piece of crap. Come on. Man, can't have these enemies in my way. Oh. Not so fast, man. Someone over there. I guess I'll find him eventually. I think they're crab worms, actually. Or they're just fighting each other off. Let's give a good check. Yep. Darn it. Darn it! <laughs> oh no. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. That would suck. There we go. Point blank. <laughs> right into the chest. Explosive round. So here's the first clap. Well, the claptrap located in the trash coast. All right, another defunct claptrap robot. Now uh, we can go there, but I want to get my STU quickly, mainly for the fact of um, I like my STU. So uh, I think I jump usually jump to this corner right over here and then jump up. So there we go, made it. <laughs> That's the only way to do it because otherwise you uh, do jump. Uh, not high enough, and you do slide down because it is a very uh, steep area. Now, just be careful while we traverse along this pipe, otherwise you're going to have to make your way up again, which is very annoying. Uh, I usually like to play uh, co-op with people because then uh, that way, uh, while one person's headed off slowly, the other person can just wait at the clap trap. So don't jump too far. We're almost there. So we just got to look for the repair kit see a nice little uh, overview of the area. A lot of uh, nasty sewage. So uh, pretty much a straight course. Let's just keep jumping. We gotta jump at every one of these little loops because they're in the way. And here we go. We got the claptrap repair kit. Let's go repair this uh, little guy and get our STU that we want. And well, what will that turn our inventory up? Uh, up to 33. Nice. I think the max is 48, and then like on playthrough 2, you can get it up uh, all the claptraps up to what was it? Up to up to tetanus Warren, and then the other ones are like I don't think it's possible anymore, even with the reset trick. So thank you kindly, stranger. I got lost out here, and eventually the salt in the air rusted me to pieces. Thanks to you, I can find. I think I finally find my way back home. Here's a little something to express my gratitude, and uh, much appreciated. I will use that right away. And uh, we're good now, so let's head around this way, because we make a full circle if I do head this way, and uh, you know, actually make our way back to the bandit camp. Ooh, mis misanthropy. I don't know what that means. There we go. Critical in the face. Explosive shell to the face. <laughs> so, uh, there, ooh, knocked him down. Knock your legs out. <laughs> Come on. Where are you at? Midget shotgunner. Alright, so I think this is it for the bandits right now. Uh, we come up to this area. There is a checkpoint. But uh, mainly most of the enemies that we are going to have to deal with here are actually just spider ants. So nothing too special. We can uh, take them out if they're not flaming with our nice little, you know, what are they, incendiary rubber eyes. I had to think of the name. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for them to pop up so I can start shooting. There we go. There's our first target. He almost died in one hit. He should die. Woo! 
Missed. Yeah, nasty bug missed. Whoa, almost fell off. That's right. Hit fire for the win. Oh. Knock him around. Oh, God, I gotta reload. Oh, I still got hit. <laughs> Another spider ant king. There's a lot of them. That should finish him off. Uh, we are kind of over level 32 to 27. Oh, darn you. Get away from me. And there was that egg bomb that I told you to avoid, but. I decided to go for the shot anyways, because I can. Oh, come on, die already. There we go, we're down to 37 rounds. Not terrible. Alright, I think it's time to switch back to the sniper rifle. I did I did have a blast sniper rifle uh, earlier. Well, we do have this one now. Let's mess around with it for a while. <laughs> this is just treated as an, uh, a regular um, marksman rifle, but... You know, how, how the army likes to use it, just pelting shots down the range. <laughs> so let's uh, head right in here. There's more spider ants to deal with. Oh. Oh, 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 man. Get some M14 action up in this bitch. Well, I'm getting good hits. Not anymore, but I was getting good hits. Oh, down. Down you go. Come on. Where's the next one? The Rider is a pretty fun gun to use. Not especially useful all the time, but it's still fun. Oh, God. Where'd you get here? Keep shooting stuff. I dare you. At least it leaves him vulnerable. I might take a few hits or so, but it just leaves him open enough for me. So we're down to 27 rounds. Pretty bad <laughs> spamming this thing, but, uh, you know, that's what we do. Oh, come on. I had a cobalt one, too. I could have used that. I forgot all about it. So let's switch back to our Crimson Thunder. Um,. Let it slowly regenerate. Now we got to deal with the queen with uh, low ammo count. Let's see what else, what else can I use? Well, we have a crimson death that could come in useful, so I'm just gonna switch right to that. We want the most hits off on our abdomen so we can uh, get many critical hits and finish her off quickly. So here is her right now, Queen Tarantula or Tarantella. And as always, yet again, more of that you know, crappy uh, spider egg shooting. You'd think they wouldn't use their young as ammo, but... Uh, well, I am not a spider ant, so I have no uh, idea what they're thinking. So, get out of here. You don't belong in this fight. So, yeah, she does hit, and uh, it has a decent amount of knockback, but I'm not too worried about it. Because uh, we scored some Firefly mod. No, not really, but... Uh, I'm trying to... Yeah, there she goes. Turn around already. Actually, it would be nice and I just switch back to this. Because I want uh, my most of my hits off on her uh, abdomen, but she seems to be making that difficult. I think we can head up here and then uh, mess with her AI a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Man, getting bad hits off. This should finish her off, now that she's uh, not doing anything to us, really. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. How about a grenade? How about that? How's that? How's that? No? How about Bloodwing? Come on, Bloodwing. She's not far, far away. Come on. There we go. Zero damage. That's how I like my Bloodwing. <laughs> and uh, obviously her body spawns a lot of those little minions, but one little grenade should finish that off, and... uh Make many little other little bug, <laughs> bug miss, kind of nasty. But we should be fine now. So, after all that, 
think it is time to head off to the bandit camp. But bef uh, before we do that, there is also uh, right up here. I think I think we can get up here, right? No, not so much. I need uh, uh, what are those? A uh, long shot grenades. Those actually uh, help in <laughs> jumping. They're pretty fun to mess with. You shoot them just like this far ahead of you, and then jump, and they should launch you. So they're a little fun to get to. Uh, harder places. Not necessarily useful, but, uh, you know, this game's about fun, really. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you can always be the optimum build if you want to have fun. Although, some people do find that fun just to completely slaughter everything. There's one down. Just turn around. There's one more. I'm just going to take them out from here because they're not going to actually move. Bug Crusher, oh yeah. They call me the Exterminator. <laughs> so let's see. I think more spawn if I get closer. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Nope, I guess not. Grenades? Grenades? Oh, revolver. That works. Ooh. Let's get rid of some of them before they start causing us problems. Oh, somehow I hit the critical. Somehow I hit that one. I'll take it. Spider Ant Queen, Spider Ant Soldier, get out of here. Wow, that was so easily taken care of. <clears throat> I think that's it, hopefully. If not, then I got my trusty explosive pistol to deal with them. Now, uh, probably should have headed over to, uh, you know, put that abdomen in right away, but, uh, there's a reason for me heading over this direction. It's because Crazy Earl's best friend is located here. And, uh, you'll see who M is. So, there's them down. I should have trigger, should have triggered uh, the other guys to spawn. I don't know why that hasn't happened yet. Maybe move just a little closer. Uh, there's one. Mutant Midget Psycho, he spotted me. Get out of here. I'm surprised there aren't any bruisers. Usually there are plenty... Oh, that's because... There he is. And I was worried for nothing. And... Finish! <laughs> I didn't want to waste a bullet for that tiny sliver of health. Oh, look, they got a little booth here. I think it's like a little uh, show. So, eat skag and die! <laughs> So, look at all that crap. I don't even know what... Yeah, I think that is Skag. But there they go feeding. And that is uh, Earl's best friend, actually. You can see he had a little collar made for him out of, like, a saw blade or something. So nasty, all the rotted Skag uh, corpse. Okay, I thought I had... I thought I heard, like, something. That was funny. So, let's release him. Go, Skaggy! Go! All right, we're just gonna keep following him. Make sure he uh, makes it out safe. Well, what are you doing? Can't hurt him, obviously. You can sure try, but uh, he's not actually like in the game. With no hitboxes on him, just just a phased object, really. <clears throat> so there he goes, right into there, and he'll make his way back. Ooh, and we got some extra stuff. Static sniper, 28. Sure, it's worth 14,000. Why not? And we got to replenish our grenades, obviously. We should be fine now. There are some spider ants over there, but easily taken care of with my explosive pistol. And uh, this also makes it good because uh, now we're going full circle and we are going to do that last quest located here. Feel it. I'm surprised that didn't kill him. <laughs> Usually it does. I think, uh, where are we headed now? I think this is the bandit, yeah, this is the bandit area that he's talking about that they can now inhabit because they stole, uh, the queen abdomen and just put it in the middle so they're out, like, the spider ants are working for them, protecting them. But not always the case, as you can see. Uh, there's that abdomen. Oh, wow, this was a major shortcut. I should do this more often. <laughs> and, uh, we just gotta head right to the middle and then it will cause, uh, all chaos to, uh, start. So let's put this down. And run for it. 
Not before blowing a couple things up, though, but as we run forward over back here, we can take our time now to uh, just slowly take everything out. Jeez, die already, will you? See, as you can see, they're, they take their time to come around the corner, and then they're screwed by the time they do. Man, why aren't they fighting each other? Did I not trigger the bandits to come out yet? Probably not. Ugh, badass. Didn't do too much damage. I'm not really worried about the badass one. I'm worried about, I think, this one right here? Yeah, King Abracob. Turn around, will ya? Alright, here you go. Need some corrosive. There we go. <laughs> that's good. Ooh, we got a hunter class mod. I only got three rounds left, so let's collect some ammo. Don't all don't forget about that feature of the game. Now King Abercob. Pretty resilient foe. Uh takes take a couple shots to actually take him out. Actually, I think we can use corrosive on him. Be nice if it actually procs some bit. Way to add defiler on me. That would be so nice right now. There's two hits. It did proc, but uh, doesn't seem to be doing too much. I think he's uh, immune to the status inflictions. Or at least the corrosive one. Which would destroy these guys. Alright, whatever. If it has to come to this. Haha! -ha. <laughs> I knew I could get that critical hit off. Whoa! I don't know what that was, <laughs> but uh, it seemed to be some sort of sandblast. Okay, a little bit left to do. Ooh, I got a critical somehow. Heck yes. I'm not going to get one off, I'm reloading. There we go. And they're finally down their protection, really. I'm going to blast revolver out of that, don't need it. I already got a decent one with me. Unless this one, yeah, it doesn't outshine. It has a higher fire rate, but the damage is lower, so I don't really care for it. And I think the bandits finally spawn now? I may be mistaken. Huh. This is a little strange. Oh, there they are. Uh, that didn't work out too well. Alright. Let's take our time, take his out. It's a little shiny. There we go. <laughs> it's a little hard to spot because the cursor does become uh, larger than their heads are at a certain distance. It's not that easy to get exact shots off, especially on the console. So most of the time I have to aim for the main body. It works, but uh, there could be better weapons if I could use them. Ugh, I can't get that leading right. Can't, I'm not really good at gauging the bullet speed. So, someone, someone's around here. I'm going to take him out, because uh, there are a lot of wet, red weapons chests located in this area. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, a fountain of giblets. Oh, well. Let's make our way up. I think there should be a guy here. Okay, I'm surprised there isn't. Uh, looks like some other bandits have spotted me. Not too worried. The two red chests up here shall make that all fine. What are you talking about? I'm not stealing nothing. It's mine now. Ooh, corrosive proximities. Those are fun. Explosive mirrors, some more grenades. Make sure they're not sneaking up behind me. Uh, six grand, five grand. Don't really care. It's crap money. Now that's worth something. Those two are. So where are you guys at? There's one down. Oh, there's the other guy. I was wondering when he'd appear. Let's see if I can get a grenade all the way over. <laughs> An exchange of grenades! Except mines, I think I will lead them better than you. Oh, so close! Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, that would have been so cool if he just died just then. Uh, usually there's red chest. I guess not. There's usually guys that spawn up here. 
I'm gonna just toss a grenade, finish them off. Ah, Bruiser has just as bad accuracy as I do. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is cleared out. I mean, uh, we didn't get the spider ants to do our job, because usually, uh, the, I think the game designers expect you to uh, make it to here through the, this area over here, this tunneled area, because there are a lot of spider ants to deal with, but, you know, uh, we are at our time limit, so I think a good time to stop would be now, so thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Borderlands. Uh, in the next part, we will finally go after the challenge, but I think it might be a good idea to go check out what these rewards are so we can uh, maybe overpower him with, you know, special weapons. And in the meantime, we can also check the rider once again and hopefully score a different element. That would be nice, so, you know, until then, I will see everyone later.